Arc Survival Evolved has just had a massive graphical and performance update on the Nintendo Switch. And in this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to play the game and, and you know, just have a better experience because there's a lot of confusing things and things that are different from regular Arc on other platforms. The first tip I have for you guys today is console commands. Now console commands on the Switch are amazing. So all you have to do is open up the options over here and you see at the bottom left corner, it says console command, we press the minus key and we can open up the console commands. Now they have something cool that when you type in commands, it will remember what you previously typed. And if you press Y, you can immediately like edit and change one that exists over here. And then you use the L and the R little bumper buttons to change where you are in the thing to kind of change your different commands to get different inputs here. So I'm gonna edit this one here, I just spawn in a Raptor. Now that Raptor is probably going to kill me and I can immediately go here and I can go GCM, press A and boom. Now I am in, in creative mode, right? And you can go back and you can turn it on and off or you can just type in the top here and you can type in a whole new command from the get-go. Now there might be one issue that you might not even have this console command button where it says like the minus command at the bottom left. Now to get this, you have to go into options over here. And if you go to gameplay, you'll see right at the bottom right, it says console access. You need to make sure that this thing here is checked so that you can have access to the console by opening up the same way I just showed you. The second thing I want to talk about is going into third person mode and it is as simple as holding down the plus key. When you hold down the plus key, this radial wheel shows up here and it allows you to toggle the HUD in enable like or toggle third person. You can also toggle the, the orbital camera which allows you to see 360 around your character like this over here. So you can make use of all the different camera modes that you're used to in the, the other games. The next thing that was a little bit tricky for me, took me some while to kind of get a hang of this. Like when you go to storage here and you wanna move things, like I wanna move this whole stack. Now when you tap A twice, it transfers only one at a time. So you can also hold and drag, but also that's too slow. What if you wanna move like countless stacks? Instead you do this. You're going to tap A twice, but on the second A press, you're gonna hold it in. So it's A, A like that. So A, A, and then once you've done it in succession for one item, you can keep pressing A like over and over again to keep transferring items like I'm doing right now. In case you're wondering on how to use whistles in Arc Survival Evolved on Nintendo Switch, all you have to do is hold down the B key. This is the same key as for your inventory, but when you hold it down, you get all the whistle commands for like whistle stop, whistle flyer, land, whistle all follow me, etc, etc. The next tip is something I saw people talking about in the Discord for the game and they were struggling with how skins work, right? So the way it works is you hold the A key to drag skins onto items. So this one is a headpiece, it goes onto a helmet. This one is for the weapon, you just hold A and drag it onto the weapon. And for skins for dinos, all you have to do is go in the inventory, drag the dinosaur skin and add it onto the thing that says costume. It even has a green outline. And to undo this, you just drag it off there. And for the weapons, it's also quite simple. You're going to basically hover over the item that has the skin and you'll see you can press Y to remove the skin from that item. So just press Y while you're hovering over it and you're done. That's how you do it. For our next tip, we're going to talk about our shoulder pet friends. So if you get a Jerboa or a Compi or a Dimorphodon or whatever shoulder pets we currently have access to, you can see here they basically rest on your shoulder and you're probably wondering how to get them off. <laughs> how do you get this thing off of your shoulder? So it's quite simple. All you have to do is double tap X, right? So aim somewhere, double tap X, and you'll see you'll throw it. Now there are cases where this doesn't work since X is also the same button to harvest up. So if you're over something that is harvestable, it's going to rather harvest instead of throw it. So you've got to be standing in an area where you're free to throw the, the shoulder pit. The final tip in this video is for the map. So if you open up the map with the minus key, you can see here I have map markers and map markers are really cool on the Nintendo Switch Arc. You can press Y while you have the map open and you'll see it will open up a add screen. So you're gonna add a marker to the map. It will actually load the current coordinates of your current location. So that latitude and longitude right there is where I am right now. And you can select the pin color and you can give this marker a name. I normally do this for all the different um, artifacts throughout the map or different locations like where metal is, obsidian, crystal, etc., etc. And those are all the tips I have for you today on the game. If you have any that you think I left out in this video, let us know in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching this video.